Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to go over how I'm choosing my screen size and my aspect ratio for my home theater area. There's a lot of different formulas, preferences, options when it comes to choosing a screen size for your theater. Ultimately, I think it comes down to personal preference combined with what type of room and space you have available and what type of content you'll be watching. Stick with me and I'll show you how I got to my decision for my setup and how it actually changed from my original idea. Let's go check it out. Okay, so today is July 28, 2021, and this is uh, where we're at in the process of finishing the basement and building the theater area. So paint is coming up here next. I got all the trim and baseboards to paint, and then we'll be moving on to the walls. So. In preparation for building my screen, I'm going to do a DIY screen. I've already got the material. I purchased the acoustically transparent material from Carl's Place. And it's the flexi white material. I can leave a link below. So I'm going to build my own screen and wrap it with that material. Um, if you've been following the channel, you know that between my left and right mains, there's a cavity that is underneath the stairs that will hold the two subwoofers. In order to project an image fairly accurately so that I can measure what I'm getting from the projector box to the screen wall, um, I needed to cover that up somehow. So if you noticed from the intro, my chosen material is wrapping paper, Christmas, wrapping paper. Had a bunch of leftovers, various pieces. I know it's not very pretty now, but we're going to throw up an image on here in just a little sec. At least it gives me a solid surface, something to reflect off of, solely for the purpose of visually seeing how the image looks in this space, on this wall, knowing that I still have to build the screen and that it'll stick out you know, maybe another inch or so closer to the projector, which will affect my ultimate size as well. But wanted to be able to see the picture, get a good measurement, and then kind of go from there. So that was my conclusion to how to cover that up cheaply, but somewhat effectively, just so I can get an image on the wall. And so then ultimately, yes, I ended up putting the projector in the box. So there is the Epson 5050 UB with the, uh, the top covers back a little bit, um, get access to the outlets. And right now, just for testing purposes, there is just an old Amazon Fire Stick, probably like one of the original Fire Sticks ever made. It's super slow, it's not a 4K Fire Stick. Uh, it was just something that I had laid around that I didn't have to take apart from the back of one of our other TVs upstairs for testing purposes. So let's throw an image up and take a look. Okay, so at this point, obviously the lights are off. The projector's on, the fire stick is sleeping. I've already turned it on and I have moved the screen image with Epson's lens shift and zoomed in to get the biggest picture that I can based off of the projector sitting as far back as it can in the projector box and then the distance to the screen wall. So when I fire up the fire stick, we get a 16 by nine image. And as it sits right here, I'm measuring 141 inches diagonally on this image. So I was hoping for 140, looks like I got it. Granted, I'll probably lose that inch by the time I build the actual screen and then uh, it gets pushed out away from the wall just a little bit there with the, the frame and the material a little bit closer. So I'm still thinking I might be able to get right at 140 inch image. Now for the most part, most of your movies, being in the widescreen aspect ratio like this one. 
the image that you're gonna get here is right at about 135 inches diagonal in the widescreen format. So you can see the difference there between the two. And this is Trolls 2, again, on a non-4K old Amazon Fire Stick. Nothing special, reflecting off of Christmas wrapping paper and a primered screen wall. Okay, so moving on to a movie that was filmed in the 16 by 9 aspect. As you can see here, Toy Story 3, if we move right into this. It's obviously the same size picture as this menu is, but you can see the difference there. Again, measuring approximately 141 inches diagonal on this wall in my current setup here. So this is going to be, you know, a couple movies are going to be in this aspect ratio. The majority of them probably going to be widescreen in the 2.35 to 1, but this gives you uh, quite a quite a good sized picture. Your TV shows and stuff like that are typically going to be in this aspect ratio too. So it's all something to consider when you're trying to figure out you know, what aspect ratio you want for your screen and, and how big you're going to be able to to fit. And we're sitting somewhere between 11 and 12 feet away, kind of right underneath the projector box. We're going to have a row of seating across the back. So where the camera is here, as you see it, this is right about where we're going to be sitting, maybe just about a foot back at the most, but somewhere right in this position. So gives you kind of an idea of where we're at. It's really good to be able to see this so that I can sit down and watch it before I build it and then decide that, oh, it's either too big and I'm having to move my head around just to watch the movie or, no, I like it really big and this is gonna be awesome and we're gonna build it as big as we can and just go for it, so. I'm glad I was able to see it first and then build it. Okay, at the beginning of the video, I told you that my screen plans had changed from my initial thoughts. This is the 2.35 to 1, 135 inch widescreen that I was convinced I would end up with during my build. However, after doing some more research, I decided a 16 by 9 screen would be more versatile in our application. We do plan on watching TV shows, some sports, etc. that are all presented in the 16x9 format. And by going up to a 140 inch 16x9 screen, I will still have roughly a 135 inch screen when I'm watching the widescreen movies. What really helped explain this to me was a YouTube channel called Home Theater Gurus. If you haven't checked out his channel yet, you really need to do so. He's actually in the process of building a new house and a new theater right now as well. In episode 12, he explains how to pick the correct aspect ratios with formulas and everything, and does a really great job of explaining how it all works. Episode 13 is also great for helping to pick your overall screen size, taking into account seating distance and a bunch of other factors. I highly recommend you watch both of these in detail if you are still researching your screen size and aspect ratio for your home theater.